Welcome to the George Mason University Library's Plagiarism Tutorial. Information needs to be incorporated into your project or paper legally and ethically. This means you will have to use the information you find without committing plagiarism. In this video, you will learn what plagiarism is and how to avoid it. Many think plagiarism is just copying someone word for word. However, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it's not just using someone's words without giving them credit. It's also using their ideas without acknowledging them. Here are some examples of plagiarism. The common thread or idea running through all five statements is not recognizing or crediting the original creator. Citing is the process of giving credit to the sources you used in your research and the way to avoid plagiarism. Citing means to state where you found the information so others can find the exact item again. Each citation contains two parts. The in-text citation, which identifies what information from your paper or project is from someone else, and the bibliographic or reference citation, which identifies where you found the information. There are a number of different citation styles. The subject or discipline you are writing in or your instructor dictates the style to use. Each style contains the same basic information, the publication details, but they are organized and arranged differently. Here are examples of in-text citations. Notice the differences in the way the publication details are arranged and ordered and how they identify someone else's words and ideas. Here are examples of bibliographic or reference citations. Notice the differences in the way the publication details are arranged and written and the locations of where the items were found. But when should you cite? When you use the exact words of another person. When you summarize or paraphrase ideas, opinions, or conclusions from another person or when you use statistics and facts that some members of the intended audience of your paper might not know. Don't cite when you use your own ideas, opinions, conclusions, or prior knowledge, or when you use common knowledge, facts, or dates. When in doubt, cite. Here are a few tips to avoid plagiarism. Take good notes on where you found specific ideas, opinions, or conclusions. Write down or include complete citation information for each item used. Use quotation marks when directly stating another person's words. And avoid patch writing or simply combining phrases drawn from several sources. Instead, write summaries and paraphrases in your own words and then cite from where they came. Committing plagiarism is a major offense when writing a paper or creating a project. This video explained what plagiarism is and a few tips to avoid it. For more information about plagiarism, check out Mason's Honor Code or Mason's Office of Academic Integrity.